Hi folks, welcome to the latest installment of the Mishmash um, Home Build uh, Pinball Game. So here I've got my um, playfield, the 8 ball champ playfield. It's up on the rotisserie, just so I can get to the front and the back. And down here, it looks a bit like a hornet's nest with all these wires. But we've got um, stuff I've shown you before, so my little controller board there. Um, the score display, some power supplies, um, some power distribution down here, connections into the play field and the MOSFET drivers for the um, for eventually controlling the solenoids. So just gonna power this on and fire it up, just press the reset button. We just get a little startup message coming up. Uh, the play field lights up. And then um, it shows you what's happened last game. So it looks like it was a two-player game. Um, that's the scores at the top and then the high score to date is flashing up. And um, if I press the start button, which is just over here. So we've got one player up and we're on ball one. I'll just fire up another player. So we've got three players up now, so you can see three zeros flashing. The one that's on all the time, player one, is the one player who's currently up. So I can start clocking up a score there if I just hit some things. Okay, I'll do an end of the ball, end of ball now. So now we're on to player number two. And again, clock up a score. Now we're on to player number three. Just clock up the score. And we're round to uh, ball two. And so on and so forth. On the play field itself, I've um, got various switches going. So um, I've hit a switch that's lit up a few of the, the lamps on the play field. I've got another switch just programmed in here, which rather than just lighting up a number of lamps, runs, runs a, a lighting animation. So you can imagine if you hit a rollover or hit a target or make a set of targets, the machine's going to uh, uh, quickly show you a quick animation. Take me a while to work these out, but basically once an animation has run, then it restores the playfield lights back to how it was. So whatever features are lit up, so here I've got the nine ball lit up and the 240,000 bonus lit up. So once an animation runs, it remembers all of those settings and restores the play field back to how it was. So I've got a game going, if you like. So I can start and run a game. I ought to just run this through, actually. So we'll have ball two. Let's just score some things. Now we're on ball three, player one, ball three, player two, ball three, player three, let's just clock something up. And then it'll be end of game. And you can see it's showing the um, high score today and the three scores for those three players. So I'm starting to get there in terms of figuring out um, the game logic and the concept of starting a game, adding, a, adding players, um, detecting when a player scored and then if they drain the ball it goes on to the next player loops through the players if we get to the end of the number of current players it'll go on to the next ball and if we get to the uh, last player and last ball it'll end the game and go back into um, a track mode so lots more to do yet um, so there's nothing really happening on the play field so I need to write all the uh, the lighting routines I need to light, write, write all the switch routines and then I need to do the actual game coding which is for example if you've knocked down all of these drop targets there's five in this game then once you've done that that might light a feature um, lighting up the eight ball to certain things and so on and so forth so a long way to go but I'm pretty ple pleased with progress so far okay been a long day today 12 or 13 hours of coding, so I'm calling it a day now. 